and welcome to the Author Roundup, a special segment of the Book Connection Show where we meet up-and-coming indie authors and talk to them about their recently released books. Hi, welcome to Author Roundup. Joining us for this episode is indie author Stefan O. Stefan is the creator of the Code Z book series, which is about the Kawasaki Superbikes, appeared on the world stage. He's a German citizen and retired as a licensed aircraft maintenance engineer after he was made redundant in 2014. In search of new fields of activity, the writing of books was a good idea. Since he owned many of the described motorcycles himself, and always likes to remember the exciting 1970s and 1980s as a motorcyclist, the Kawasaki Superbikes offered himself as a topic. So let's all welcome Stefan O, the author of Kawasaki Superbikes 900 Super 4 Z1. Hi, Stefan. How are you? Yeah, very I'm well. Thank you for your invitation. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to have a chance to talk to you. So I understand you just had your book just very recently published, right? Can you tell us yes. about um, Kawasaki Superbikes 900 Super 4 Z1? Yeah, it's basically the grandfather of all these Kawasaki Superbikes. Uh, it is a, a more a modern look than before, and um, the customers were um, delighted by this new Superbike and the power the engine developed, especially in Germany, where you had uh, no speed limit. And Kawasaki had to find out that uh, certain parts had to be improved due to the high speeds and uh, flywheel um, forces and so on. And uh, yeah, this is basically the grandfather of my book range. I see. So what inspired the idea for your book? Like, you seem to be very interested in uh, motorcycles or Kawasaki to be specific. Yeah, see, when I uh, s selected my um, professional uh, work field, I used my hobby. I'm interested in aircraft. It's, it's a very uh, physical demanding job. And I was looking for something which I can do in the higher age and long in my life later on, because I don't intend to retire. And I came up with this idea, motorcycle, and uh, wrap it into a, a positive um, book yeah and to uh, let people uh, delve into their history and uh, happy uh, 1970s and 1980s mm -hmm. okay so just how many uh, kawasaki bikes do you own if you don't mind I have sold all uh, Kawasaki bikes. I live along the coast. Uh, there's a lot of corrosion. You need a lot of time to keep these bikes in a good shape. And I decided to sell all bikes. I don't own any bikes anymore. Oh, not anymore. But how many, no. you still have a count on how many you've owned before you sold all of them? Yeah, basically all the um, four cylinder, one liter, uh, models until I had the Eddie Lawson. Uh, it was the, the last model I sold. Yeah, so basically all the one liter, four cylinder, including the uh, Z1. Oh, okay. So you've tried all of them. So I understand, yes. Stefan, that this book is just one out of a series of books. So how long did it take you to complete this book? Yeah, about it takes nine months. Um, however, it does not uh, include the time um, to de de uh, develop the, the trademark, the look of the book, the colors, and so, and so on. There are thousands of steps um, before you can start to write. And then you need to um, basically build up the interior of the book, the chapters. And I use a completely new uh, way to approach the motorcycle. It's not a copy and paste of the um, uh, Kawasaki handbooks. I use a more uh, customer friendly way and uh, open the panels, show the parts, uh, the more the beauty part. Yeah. And uh, the customer is uh, supposed to, um, yeah, 
uh, memorize his uh, good 1970s, the music, and uh, yeah, experience a good uh, feeling by looking at these memories. Mm -hmm. I see. So um, can you share any anecdotes that you have when you were writing this particular book? Yeah, I had uh, the idea to incorporate or to involve my uh, both my lovely daughters. Mm -hmm. And um, they are part of the first book. They show parts. Yeah, They uh, point out parts. So uh, some pictures are included in, uh, in the first book. And uh, yeah, I, I was very happy because I thought about writing a book about family. And then I thought it's uh, not necessarily my field. I'm more technical person. However, we had fun yeah, and sh made photo shoots and had a lot of fun with these uh, um, yeah, like almost professional photo shooters. Yeah? And yeah, it was a funny time together. Yeah, it's very positive. So you said you wrote the book with your daughters, right? Where yeah, we they, um, yeah okay. they helped me editing. Yeah. My daughters are more uh, familiar with the English language, and they also helped me editing the book. They read through, made suggestions. However, you have parts where an engineer or technician uh, can only explain why a certain way is um, uh, how it's written. However, I'm very happy that I was able to include them. And uh, they are also now part in the Ex Libris version of these books. Oh, that's nice. So it must yes. have been fun writing the book along with your daughters. Are they also part of the other books that you're writing in the series? No, unfortunately, they went their own way. They have now partners. Oh. Um, and uh, I think about in the future to uh, incorporate them more. However, it became less now. Um, so uh, other people did editing and uh, they, yeah, they go their own life. Uh, the eldest daughter lives in Ireland, very far away. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you did mention that this book is highly technical and you said you are um, very technical yourself, like with your background, uh, professional background and all that. So what would yes. you consider the most difficult part of this writing process? Yeah, a very difficult part was to get all the permissions to use uh, images. So I um, went in contact with Kawasaki uh, and especially the um, uh, marketing um, manager in Germany helped me and gave me his permission to use uh, images of brochures and uh, technical terms which are trademarks of Kawasaki also use um, all the the um, figures yeah how um, the the yeah the numbers and so on yeah and so I point out it's not my invention it's Kawasaki's how they published uh, the um, uh, strength and dimensions uh, of their motorbikes in their brochures and so to get these permissions uh, was very time consuming and uh, very difficult, more difficult than writing the book. Mm, I see. But you were able to get past that. So um, yes. you, so it's the same process for the books that you'll be writing in the series, right? Like you'd need to get yes. their permission again and all that. Okay. Um, who do you think would benefit most from your books? Yeah, I hope that uh, mo uh, motorcycle collectors um, uh, will use it. They can find out if the uh, how the real bike looked when it came from the factory of Kawasaki. So I show old images and uh, the part numbers are also part of all my books. So when, when I show a part, um, the reader will find the part number. And also, um, yeah, parts collectors, and restorers might use my book yeah, to build up a bike and not finding out on um, uh, exhibitions. Yeah, um, Many people know motorcycles very well and they might find out, oh, you have not uh, the original part. Uh, there are many signs stamped into the parts when you look closer. And it also is part of the Japanese history. Uh, how they uh, count the numbers and the years. It's uh, very important to know about the emperors. And then you recognize why are, uh, these numbers are used. Yeah, they use uh, the, the, um, the reigning year of uh, the emperor. Mm, okay.
Okay, that's interesting. Yes. Um, so mm-hmm. Have you had a chance to talk to people who have read your book? What's the nicest feedback that you received about your books? Yeah, I, um, the most uh, lovely one was a gentleman from Netherlands. Uh, he ordered the book and uh, once he received it the same day, he took the book and uh, presented himself uh, in front of a poster and his wife took a book and he sent it straight back to me. So he was uh, happy with the result and was happy to uh, receive it. And he confirmed that um, the book is uh, more uh, detailed than he expected. Yeah, so I um, have basically 400 pages per book and um, I have all uh, through the customers um, they are satisfied with the amount of information and uh, yeah but this was uh, the most lovely one yeah because uh, i want to create positive uh, relationships yeah and and also uh, um, cross borders yeah forget about um, old um, uh, yeah old occasions yeah so uh, start a new time talk yeah and be friends yeah and mm-hmm. it, it, this worked very well. That's nice. So you have uh, a way of, you know, communicating or getting in touch with uh, your readers and you yes. get back about your books. Okay. Um, what advice would you give to a writer or anyone who would want to, you know, try writing a book? Yeah, the most important things um, are the legal issues. Yeah, there are many um, regulations about the usage of images and what you write. Uh, and uh, unf- uh, so fortunately, the Internet uh, provides all these um, information. So it is very important to um, uh, find out uh, about permissions and get these permissions from uh, image owners. It might be very expensive when when you use an image and uh, a person complains about this. And and well, why don't asking? Yeah, it's it's just an email away, and you have another friend. Yeah, because uh, you uh, uh, all these people get free books from me, and uh, yeah, so um, it's a first positive thing what i even uh, the book is not finished i already have established a, a contact yeah a positive contact and then i send the book and people say thank you and uh, so yeah um, after a very difficult working life i have now much more positive uh, feedback yeah and happy people yeah okay so i'm glad that you talked about you know the legal stuff and all that must have yes. been like you've said, it was time consuming for you, right? But um, how about the actual writing of the book itself? Like, how do you, how did you start? I know a lot of authors are, you know, they have like um, these blocks that would preventing, that would prevent them from starting to write. Perhaps you yes. can give tips on how um, we can start writing. Yeah, um, from the exterior of the book, when you have a template, how you arrange all your trademarks and the writing. Also for the interior of the book is very important to have a template. So you have your chapters and then you follow the chapter. And uh, basically when the first book is finished, you can use it as a template. You have your sub chapters. And then um, you fill in all the images. And when every image is um, filled in, then I start writing. Yeah, so I uh, basically start from the images. And then I do writing, yeah, and slightly uh, align the images. Sometimes I uh, uh, make them smaller, yeah, to match the text. And uh, I don't like um, empty pages. Yeah, so I uh, basically uh, make an economy, uh, economical approach to the uh, to the uh, matter. Yeah, I understand because you you said there are around four hundred. Am I correct? Four hundred pages in the book. Yes, my uh, largest book was 525. Uh, it was the one uh, before I started number seven. Uh, however, X Libris accepts 480, so I had to cut it by uh, 45 pages. It was a very large book. And I, uh, yeah, I asked the people to print it. It's uh, two and a half kilograms of weight. It has four hundred, uh, five hundred and twenty-five, and uh, very exciting. Yeah, it's sitting in my shelf. 
And always when I look at it, yeah, I'm so happy uh, it was very time consuming and uh, many nights uh, went uh, by yeah, writing it. Yeah. And yeah. because you said that, I know we've been saying that the book is very, you know, it's loaded with information about Kawasaki bikes. Um, I yes. can just imagine the amount of research that you had to do to, to come up with this book. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, uh, there is an ex yes, uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, there is an excursion into Japanese history and also uh, Japanese um, uh, writing. They have two ways to write things, and the third way is uh, are the numbers. Yeah, and uh, this is what I explain at the beginning, because you find on spare parts very often uh, Japanese symbols, and to explain people what it means, I uh, explain it, and then also. Uh, uh, where the um, uh, numbers of the uh, date comes, where the uh, uh, where the part is manufactured, it's called the uh, Showa date because Showa was uh, the uh, emperor at that time. It was his forty-eight reigning year. So many parts have the forty-eight and another number, which is a month. So um, there is also an excursion into Japanese uh, culture which I find uh, very important because I also dedicated my book to the engineers uh, uh, from Kawasaki and all the people from Kawasaki who gave us uh, this um, exciting machines in the 70s, uh, which were matching to the rock music and we uh, had the best times of our lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, this book will not only give them uh, information about the Kawasaki bikes itself, but a brief history as to you know how it came about. Like you said, the naming conventions that they use for the parts and all yes. that. And it's really interesting that you said it's tied up with Japanese history, right? Like yes, yeah, uh, it is true because um, there is also sometimes a little bit of a, a funny way, um, side when you look at parts. Sometimes they have typos in it. There is um, um, the word um, is uh, you have letters twisted and so on because apparently the engineer or the person who created this part in the casting process swapped the letters. Yeah, and and so um, he multiplied basically this typo. And uh, so sometimes on old parts you have uh, Japanese parts, uh, Romanji, Kanji, yeah. And um, yeah, people don't know it, what is it. Is it a scratch? No, it isn't Japanese uh, symbol. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you always been interested in uh, motorbikes or Kawasaki specifically, or are there other interests that you have, like perhaps cars or? Yeah, of, very often when I create my drawings and don't need to think so much. Uh, in the site, I listen to um, history uh, documentaries, or uh, I, I listen to uh, Bible presentations. Yeah, because I'm very interested in. Um, at the moment, we experience science um, comes closer to the Bible. They are basically talking about the same thing. Uh, and so, uh, as a side uh, tone, I listen to documentaries uh, about Sumerians, the Old and New Testament, and the Bible. It's very exciting. And the Torah, how they were uh, created. And um, I can say it's true. Yeah, they, it is. Uh, they're talking about the same thing. Uh, they were um, created by different people, but they uh, confirm the same thing. And uh, the modern science even includes uh, the church and the Vatican. Yeah, so we see now a merger of science. Yeah, mm -hmm. people like uh, Roger Penrose from uh, a Nobel Prize um, winner. He confirms uh, there are things he cannot explain, and they are beyond science. Yeah, so very exciting. Yeah. Okay. Um, how about your personal and professional goals this year? What can we expect from Stefan? I will write number seven. It's about um, uh, the Z1R. So basically a less um, successful model. However, it was in Germany a, model, a motorcycle of the year in 1978. 
And uh, I find it uh, very uh, drastic how Kawasaki changed from the smooth lines of the uh, 3S styling concept to a uh, basically it looks like an electrocardiogram when you look from the side. It's uh, consisting of triangles, straight lines, and squares. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately, uh, Kawasaki did not have the success. However, this is a um, project, and I will include the turbo version as well okay so are you finished writing that or still in the process of writing it yeah i would say about 70 percent of the graphics are finished um, and this is a very good sign because in the middle uh, it is sometimes frustrating when you when you uh, you see almost no progress however i have about 70 percent and very soon i can start with writing paste everything in and write yeah, very exciting. Yeah. Yes, perhaps we will be, or we can expect perhaps another book this year before yes. the year ends. Right, okay. Mm. So any final message you have for uh, your, I mean, our viewers and our listeners or to people who are just interested in Kawasaki motorbikes? Yeah, uh, I can uh, say um, buy the book, uh, take yourself a cup of coffee, and uh, uh, enjoy the, um, the the story about these um, bikes. Yeah, I'm sure uh, all the collectors will be very happy to talk to you about uh, the motorbikes that they have. And I can see also the amount of work that went into this book and how dedicated you are um, into and how much you love the Kawasaki motorbikes. So yes. thank you so much, Stefan, for the very interesting and informative talk. And to everyone watching and listening, make sure that you check out Stefan Ohl's Kawasaki Superbikes 900 Super 4 Z1. And you can purchase a copy from the Ex Libris online bookstore, as well as Amazon and uh, Barnes & Noble. It's available as a soft cover, hardcover, and of course, as an ebook. So to those who would, uh, who are um, into the digital um, copies instead of the physical copies, yeah. And thank you to all our viewers and listeners. See you again on the next episode of the Author Roundup. Bye. Yeah, thank you for having me. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.